Hi everyone, it's Lisa with InkandInspirations.com. Thank you for joining me for this Facebook video. I am unable to go live tonight, so I have going to pre-record a video that will post at the same time uh, that I would normally be going live, that 7.30 Central Time. And uh, it's a really cute and fun project that I can't wait to share with you. So, I was in Bath & Body Works last week and I saw these cute little pocket pack uh, antibacterial hand gels. And look, it has a little toucan on it and this bird banter set, oh my goodness, so cute. And look, it has the little birds, the toucan. So that's what we're going to be using to make a little holder for this. So I'm gonna set that aside for a minute and we are going to start with a piece of Tangerine Tango cardstock, and it's cut at 2 by 11. And I'm going to get my Simply Scored scoring tool, and we're going to make some score lines, and I'll share that with you in just a bit. But here, I'm going to put that 11-inch side up to the top. Okay, and then I am going to score it at one half inch one and one half three and one half four and a half six and a half seven and a half and eight and one half okay we can put the simply scored away and I'm just going to burnish on all those score lines with my bone folder. This is so cute, and I had seen this online, and I thought, oh my gosh, I have to try that. And then when I saw the little um, characters that were on the pocket backs, I thought, oh my gosh, perfect. And I have some other ones that I bought that I'll be showing uh, probably next week on my blog that are super cute as well. Same style, same project, but different embellishments. Okay, so I'm gonna put this up here. All right, this, if you wanna take a screenshot of that, these are the dimensions two by 11 with all the score lines. And draw this little oval beneath the one half and one and a half, okay, if you're writing this down, and underline the six and a half inch mark, okay? And I'm gonna tell you what that's all about in a minute. Now, the oval, okay, is the showing you to cut the oval between the one half inch and the one and a half inch mark, okay? And let me show you which oval I used. I used the layering oval framelits, okay? And then I just put this here, all right? And ran it through the big shot and okay and I've already done that so let me show you here it is okay and then I underlined the six and a half which I totally forgot on my other piece but I did did it right here this is the six and a half inch score line mark do not fold that that just marks a place for you to meet uh, this other side that you're going to fold up okay Okay, so let's go ahead and kind of fold this up so you can see how it's going to go. Okay, so there is that six and a half inch, and then this one half inch score is going to come up and line up with that six and a half inch score. And there it is right there, okay? And that is going to, well, I'll show you here, just like this. It's going to fit just right, but we're going to do a little bit of embellishing here before we put it together. All right, so I have taken two of these little floral stamps from the set and mounted them on a clear block, and I'm going to take some Tangerine Tango ink, okay? and just 
do a scattering of flowers on this piece, okay? I was started to stamp here, but that's going to be glued, so. And you're just trying to, you're really making like your own pattern paper, and I think it really makes it cute, and you save a little bit of time by mounting both pieces. Make sure I'm doing this right. Yep. You always second guess yourself when you're <laughs> doing the video and saying, okay, is this how it's supposed to be? <laughs> All right. Just get a good coverage there. See if I have any spaces and I can fill in. Okay, I'm going to come around and do right here, right here, and that should be good. Okay, so now this is going to fold around like this and come up and meet that six and a half inch score line. So I'm going to take some, <clears throat> see what should I use? I could use tear and tape, but I'm going to try my fast fuse here. Come on around. Fold that down and remember it's going to meet that six and a half inch score mark that you did not fold, if you'll remember <laughs> not to do that. If you do, it's okay. All right, it just makes it easier and stand up a little bit better. Uh, <clears throat> all right, so now you can put the little in here like this. Just slide that in, and then that's going to come around and close just like that. Isn't that cute? All right, <clears throat> now we're going to do some embellishing. And I am using some uh, just Whisper White cardstock. And I've stamped the toucan in basic gray archival ink. And I'm going to be coloring it with my watercolor pencils and a blender pen. So I'm going to take the orange or the pumpkin pie and just color. And you know, you can try to color it realistically if you'd like, but it really doesn't matter. You want to make it colorful and cute. Okay. And then I'm going to take my gray and color this. And I, I kind of took my hint from the toucan that was on the, the antibacterial and then kind of added my own touch. I hope you can see what I'm doing here. Okay. And then I can go back in a little bit with a blender pen and kind of smooth the color out. Here is uh, Old Olive. And then I'm going to take the pumpkin pie and do this back tail again just to give it some more fun color. And here we go with the Daffodil Delight on his little feet. And then the rest of him I'm going to do, keep him pretty lifelike and do basic gray. Most of the time they are black, but I didn't want to use, I thought that would look a little bit too harsh. So, now I've got enough color there. I can take my blender pen, scribble off, and first I'm going to do the gray and just kind of smooth out that color and give him a watercolor look. Okay. And when you're doing this, it's, it helps to do all of the same color at one time. <clears throat> Let's do the pumpkin pie and smooth it out a little bit and the tail. And then I'm going to leave a little bit of that pumpkin pie on there, not too much, and kind of blend it into the yellow here and on his little feet. Kind of a yellow-orange look. Okay, and then you're going to fussy cut him out, and I've already done that with this one, and he's going to be ready to go in a bit. Now. For a closure here, I'm going to take my one inch circle punch and I'm using the Myths and Magic Glimmer Paper that uh, when you're seeing this recording, 
um, celebration still has a couple of days left and you can still earn this for free with a $50 purchase. It's also for sale in the occasions catalog, okay? But like I said, you could earn it for free and it's fun stuff. Okay, let's do that one inch circle. And then I've already stamped and cut the larger of the two flowers, colored it with um, some of the watercolor pencils. And then I'm gonna use some glue here and just put that in the middle. I like to use the liquid glue when I'm using glimmer paper, it helps. Now what this circle is going to do is it is going to be the closure, okay? And you don't want to meet it, this is not going to meet to the bottom here, okay? You want it to stand up a bit like this, okay? You can see that, the little antibacterial thing in there. So I'm going to put a Stampin' Dimensional on the back of that, but I'm going to cut one of the bigger ones because I think it will work better than a small one. Let's see, that might be a little big. So I'm going to trim that off. And then we'll call this the bottom. And put it right there. Okay, so let's take this. And I'm going to line that up as close to the bottom there as I can. Okay, and then that is going to be the closure. All right. Now, for the toucan, I felt like he needed a little bit more of a background. So, I'm taking this. Um, I like to. It's very close to Bermuda Bay. And so, I'm going to take a one and a half inch circle punch. Punch out a circle. And that is going to go here. So let's go ahead and take some liquid glue and put that on. Okay. And then I'm going to take the, it looks like lemon lime twist to me, <laughs> and punch two of our leaves, glue punch. Just like that. And I'm going to attach here so it will be like a branch so to speak for our toucan to rest on so let's take this and then another one just like that and then our toucan is just going to sit right on it. I'm going to slide that down a bit. Let's go ahead and add some more glue. That's going to dry clear, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. And the toucan is going to be sitting there. So let's go ahead and glue him. Just like that. You want to hold it just a bit so it's good and set. And there's a super cute little gift idea. I thought that would be cute for um, end of school uh, for teacher gift. Okay, there's the original one I made, but you can see super cute. And then when the recipient takes it out, they are going to be able to see how it's a matching with the mango super cute okay if you have any questions let me know thank you so much for watching uh, if you will if you will share this and then comment share below the video i'll do a random drawing on sunday evening for someone to win a prize and i will see you again soon take care everybody good night